one day one story one day one story hmm. and it's not funny yes terrorists from the islamic state backed faction of boko haram on sunday attacked the army special super camp at ngamdu a border town between bono and yobe states killing overseas soldiers military sources told sahara reporters remember military sources told sahara reporters Ngamdi is under Kagaluka government area of Bono and about 100 kilometers to the capital, Meduguri. Sahara reporters gathered that the terrorists came in no fewer than 10 gun trucks and could not be counted. A source said about six Nigerian soldiers were killed, while others, including the brigadier general in charge of the camp, were injured. The insurgents also went away with a military operational vehicle, different arms and ammunition. They stormed the unit with about 10 gun trucks and 4 MRAP. They beat the security checks and pretended to be friendly forces. They first attacked the brigade commander, wounded his ADC also. They later killed like 6 soldiers, a source said. The attack comes a few weeks after the insurgents killed over 25 soldiers who were also on patrol in Mungono area of Borno State. Ngono is not about 70 km drive from Meduguri, the state capital, and hosted thousands of internally displaced persons, mostly from Dikwa and Mate, Loka, Mate Council areas. At least 25 soldiers have been confirmed dead. The authorities have contacted some of their families. Their bodies are already deposited at the morgue, a source had told Sahara reporters. Boko Haram and its offshoot Islamic State West African province have killed thousands and displaced millions in northeastern nigeria the nigerian military has repeatedly claimed that the insurgents had been largely defeated and frequently underplayed any losses in the past month soldiers have been targeted by the insurgents over 500 soldiers and officers have been reportedly killed since january 2021 at least 33 soldiers were killed early in the year when two vehicles loaded with explosives rammed into a military convoy in Wugo. The suicide bombers were identified as Abu Bakra Sidi and Bana Jundala. The group also claimed four military vehicles were destroyed. In February, about 20 soldiers were also killed in Malari, Bono State, by the insurgents. Sahara reporters gathered that the soldiers were on patrol to clear some Boko Haram elements in the area following a credible intelligence when they were ambushed by the group <laughs> just like i said from the beginning one day one story and the stories are not really funny honestly speaking the stories are not palatable at all these are people's husbands uncles brothers fathers that are just losing their lives on a daily basis the nigeria government is not doing enough to secure the lives of those people if these people are being taken down every second then what is not the hope of an average nigerian person and again come to think of it all this equipment that these guys are collecting from this uh, from this nigeria army where that the bukwarams are collecting, the bukwara members are collecting we have never heard any day that they recall they got them back or they collected them back from them we have never heard the next thing you hear you hear that they have repented and that is it and somebody and people have been asking that question that those of you claim that some people have been repenting and all of that they've been surrendering then why can't you tell them to get the audition are they surrendering the equipment as well or i hope uh, they are not going to be telling us that uh, the equipment that are just being bought are the ones that they are taking again from their hands <laughs> it is so so unfortunate they don't recover them back the next thing is that oh we have uh, hundreds of uh, repentant book around hundreds of bandits this and that that have surrendered that is the only thing you are hearing that is a different thing not to talk of those who are losing their lives. It's a pity. It is a pity. Like Mohammed will come and tell us that, uh, oh, yes, they are winning war against them. Anytime they just make that statement, just take note. Two days after, you just hear these guys, you know, strike again. They will just strike. Ha. Huh. This is unbelievable. You see it? They can only have power in the East, killing innocent Igbo youth. But no, like people always say, they will not go to that area, that area, arena to go and give it back to the people in that particular place. 
someone please show this video to President Muhammadu Buhari. We are waiting for presidency to announce state of emergency in Bono. They will never. Buhari boys in action. Later, they will be granted amnesty and presidential welcome. They are doing well. Yes, they are. They are. This is the language Nigeria army understand. Killer youth receive it back in Bono. How many houses did Nigeria army burn in that area? But if they, if any, if any, something happened in Southeast, they will be fast in burning houses. The soldiers are fine. No life was lost. We are winning the war, according to Lai Mohammed. Joey Bokwe, ah, it's been a while, though. I don't know whether you guys have taken note of that. I have not heard from Igbokwe. You know that every, whatever, any issue that happens, any matter like this, uh, Joey Igbokwe, whether the one that is related or is not related, is always coming to uh, his own opinion. But for some time now, if you take notes, I don't think he has been speaking, whether he's on sabbatical leave, only God knows. And houses didn't burn down the way they did in Izombe, Imo. And you want people to still believe in one Nigeria. It's not possible, Mbano. Keep going. Good work. Stop arming the civilians. Face all, face your politicians and leave the innocent people. Try a piece those southern soldiers. Where then they send go and fight Boko Haram with you with your guns. Why Boko Haram machine gun? It's a PC. Soldiers are doing operation. God knows in the east there's house uh, their house is on fire and they are busy chasing emo states on fire. Clueless people. Congratulations uh gallant Boko men. We're gonna recruit you guys soon for your work well done of course they will tell you that you repented they have repented and that is what you are going to be hearing and uh, my own concern is those who lost their lives and again those equipment they are taking from this nigerian army at the end of the day they will not recover them back they will never and others are in a nursing school looking for unknown government now sunday Bowo and can be their problem because the army focus is on south west and southeast See them, another method of giving them ammunition. I dare, hey Luna, we know where their power are they. Killing innocent Igbos now, man to man, where are they? They have injured their men. I'm beginning to believe that it is pains full of it in military uniform. When those they called infidels kill them, that is why you see them shooting at sight, burning communities. And doing all manner of things. Let the state of emergency be declared here for where it's not going to be. So Boko Haram will treat northern soldiers the language they understand. They only have power in Imo state. And come to think of it, because I don't think uh, you have a maybe they are, they be a kind of mixture because you see that most of the soldiers they always bring to the east, they are from that north, and the southerners are the ones going to that side. Whether that, that is why it does not really make a, a big difference to them, but it's irrespective of that, that is not the issue. So, guys, let's say your opinion and have your take on this. Thank you.